Okay, hi, it's Pip again. Uh, this is Moody Monday Take Two. I'm now going to switch the phone round and see if this is recording properly. Can you give me a hearts or a thumbs up if that is now showing in landscape, which is what it should be? I'm, get, I'm getting hearts. Excellent. Okay. Moody Monday Take Two. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so the reason why I... Um, wanted to do it with my phone is because I think it just gives you a little bit better um just a little bit better um what's the word I'm looking for focus focus that's the word I'm looking for I need to focus now so I think it gives you a little bit better focus and it shows you a bit better the things that I got so for some reason I cannot get my um uh my webcam to do that on this short distance it's great for facial uh, shots of looking at me but it won't do this very well so anyway so here is my first lot of stuff that I'm sharing with you to, this morning or rather this lunchtime to try and cheer you up on a media Monday is all of my birthday cards plus my swaps from the trip plus we're going to do some stamping and so, well actually we're going to do some colouring in and I'm going to show you some sneak peeks so whew, we've got a lot to get through so i'm going to whiz okay so first of all i got this from the lovely debbie Isn't that cute it's like a little jacket with some buttons that's nice uh this i got from the lovely lola from germany isn't that pretty really nice now i've got you on a delay so i don't know where you are you're going to have to comment and then just hopefully it will it will come through i got this from jillian and Gillian sent me my pen as well, I believe, if I remember rightly. I think I do. And look, it's got a crown on the top. Isn't that so cute? So cute. Um, so that's lovely. Thank you. Uh, this one's really nice with all the daisies. I love the daisies. This one's from Carol. Hello, Carol. Carol was on a minute ago. I don't know if she's back on. Jen oh, yes, Carol's on. Hello. I love this one, Carol. It's really lovely. Look at that little cute little bunch. Ah, right okay and then more 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 daisies we all love daisies this one's from hillary uh so that's lovely i really like that with the gingham paper i love how it's cut out and then cut put back cut out and put back that's clever isn't that really nice uh this one is from jane the lovely jane that pretty and this some gorgeous layering up there this is from one of the old retired um petal perfect petals no petal parade but it had a lovely beautiful um set of memories and more that went with it i really like that beautiful colors look at this somebody who knows me very well knows that i like purples and blues this is from sue one of my team Isn't that lovely oh really pretty uh this is from the lovely sarah look at that all that beautiful work these are all um they're actually uh what's the word birthday candles in this set and then she's cut them all out and then just chopped off the candle end of it isn't that cute and um and then she's embossed all this in copper and it's on the scallop note cards with that bit there and then she stamped it on the inside isn't that lovely really pretty and then this is from the boy i wonder who this is from oh i wonder who this is from this is from the boys of course this is from matoso craft so uh, barry and jay it was up on their blog earlier this week isn't it absolutely gorgeous that painting is just fantastic plus got some little hearts someone special oh and they made it just for me which is really nice so yeah that's lovely uh and then sue gave me this as well and a pencil which i've put somewhere and can't find my a little book and we could choose what we wanted on the book and it says my list my little list of happy things live what you love and be happy which you know is pretty much my um that's kind of like what i do isn't it really that's that's my motto in life i think okay and then this one is from um this one's from chris and it uses one of the beautiful cards out of the paper pumpkin kit which sadly is gone all sold out no more left but it's beautiful and i'm glad i got one and then we've got elephants i love my elephants and this is from Sandra in my team as well. Isn't that lovely? I like how she's paired it with the, um, I think this is the dino raw paper. So that's really pretty. And then she's coloured the elephants and used that beautiful purple posy. 
see how well it goes with the Highland Heather? That's good. And then this one's from my friend Alison. And she was like, I've used colours I don't normally use. <laughs> and it's like, yes, you have. But that's good. Yes. They're pretty. And it's the daisies again. We love daisy. Love, love, love daisies. And then this is a pop-up easel card from the lovely Sue and Ruth. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Can you see that okay? Hopefully you can. I can't actually see. I don't like this because I can't actually see all your comments and stuff. I don't know if there are any comments because I can't see them. But there you go. Uh, so that was from the lovely uh, Ruth and Sue. This is from the lovely Donna. So uh, there's a theme here with purple, isn't there? There's lots of purple going on. Purple and pink. <laughs> I wonder why <laughs> but yeah that's gorgeous isn't it i love i love these dots i didn't i don't think i ever got that stamp set it's really nice and then the uh, pansy flowers that's lovely and then this is from the lovely jenny big shout out to jenny hope you're feeling better soon jenny's not very well at the moment so big shout out to jenny and i love what you've done here hun. really beautiful perennial essence papers and then the perennial essence stamp here gorgeous very jenny really nice like that so that's that and then this i got from sue sue p isn't that lovely sue sue happy birthday to you and then it opens like that look it's not cute and then it stands kind of like that Ta -da! <laughs> so we like that she's having fun playing with the beautiful new peacock papers and the perennial essence uh papers as well isn't that lovely really nice uh, and then this is the lovely Melissa and she's been doing one of those this was probably from well I know that we played with the shaving foam technique so she's been having a another go with the shaving foam technique so that was from Melissa so that's lovely and then um I've got an, I've got another one but it's in my box I'll have to show you why in a minute so this world's best co-worker Lola bought us when she came over for our birthday treat which hopefully you've seen quite a lot of and she also gave me one of these and it's great <laughs> it's pringles who doesn't love pringles whoops and look i haven't opened it yet i've been very good but yeah it's pringles with a daisy on top it doesn't really get much better than that fantastic so thank you for that okay so now i'm moving on to i'm going to pop all these away so that i don't lose them and they'll go up in my house again <laughs> well just for another couple of days and then i'll bring some of them along on sunday to class i think that's probably the easiest thing to do right let's pop those down there oh, get those out of the way okay so now we're looking at swaps i'll just take those away they might not come on sunday <laughs> i might have eaten them by then so now we're looking at swaps so i'm just going to get all of this out but in here as well there is another birthday card where is it where is it where is it should be in here because the lovely Ange, who's watching my already card Ange? i know it's in here somewhere oh no i don't know what i've done with it well the lovely Ange gave me her birthday card to me before i even went away on holiday so I had it with me on the ship and now I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. Thought it was in here, Ange. Poop. It's obviously still somewhere in my in my stuff from retreat from uh, from um the incentive trip. However, look at all this gorgeous loveliness. Isn't it great? Let's get started. We'll go we're gonna whiz through them quite quickly. Okay, so first of all. Wishing you a beautiful day. Lovely. Terry Gaines. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like how they've used the silver note cards here. And that's from France Martin. Frenchy. That's lovely. Really nice. And then this is a slider card or a spinner card. He kind of moves, isn't he cute? And that's from Marie Ressler. Oh, so lovely. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams that's nice that's from karen braxton i got i got so many swaps from people that i don't even know which is great so i got to meet some of them look at him i think he is obviously the most favorite of all of the 
of all of these, I think. I can't see any. I don't know if you're liking this. I hope you are. But he's so cute. You think he's my favourite too. Oh, and that was from Belle. Belle in Minnesota. And then, oh, look, Christmas. We love a bit of Christmas. This has got sparkle on the back, glimmer paper, the new um, stamp set with the snowman made of parcels. And that's from Patty Chanel. Stamp patties. Lovely. They're really cute, aren't they? Gorgeous. Look at this one. Wow, this is amazing. This is the peacock one. I know Sandra's going to like this one. Oh, but I don't know who it's from. Hold on. Some of them put it inside. Some of them, I put mine inside. Whoop, there we go. Susan Brummer from PA, Pennsylvania. Oh, it's nice. You are incredible, it says. Lovely. Like that one. And then, obviously, these spinners and pullers and whatever are in, because this one's made with a gorgeous dino roar, <laughs> or whatever it's called, dino something from Sandy. I like that very much. And here's another dinosaur one. Thanks for being a friend <laughs> They're cute. That one's from Sandy, Sandy Carlson. She might even be, no, she's probably not watching it. It's probably too early. And then this is a nice delicate Daisy Lane one using the Garden Lane papers and colours. Oh, I'm going to have to check who this one's from. Urgh. This one's, oh look it opens like that, that's nice. Natalie Travis. That's nice isn't it, just a bit different. We always like a bit different. That's very nice. Okay, so we'll put that away in a minute. Then we've got... This one using Wild Rose and Country Floral. That's nice. That's from, don't know, Mystery. It's a mystery. That's from, oh, it's from Wendy Lee. Thank you, Wendy. That's lovely. Look at that. There we go. And then this one, Smile, It's Your Day. That's nice with the camera and the hearts. And this one's from Krista Thomas from Oregon. So that's cool another daisy lane one friend this is with rococo rose and um that's early espresso it goes well with early espresso looks lovely and that's from jean Jeannie moss i oh, know jean she that's lovely and then this one's using uh perennial essence again this one's been embossed wow that's a lot embossing for 26 people and he's because you have to make 26 so you make 26, stamping up, keep one, and then the others go into the Donna Melcher. That is, that's lovely Donna. And then the rest go into our bags and we all get a, a random uh, pick. Oh, this one's from Esther, somebody rather, Esther Boyle. But I have to open it because it stands like, like it opens like a normal card, sort of. Did normal did before oh it's just a little bit stuck there we go so it sort of stands like a normal card but it's i don't know if you can see that it's actually sort of floating it's quite cool it's quite a cool card so i thought i have to show that to you like that see so it looks better when it stands on the mantelpiece when you when it stands on the mantelpiece you'd see it kind of like that okay good I hate that I'm not getting any feedback. Oh, Alison's joined. All I can see is who's joined. I can't see any comments, so I don't like doing it like this. Okay, this is from Jill Olson. And that's a very pretty one with um, Magnolia Blooms. I'm just coming up here to see if I can see. Anybody commenting? Anybody? No. No. I can see you. Oops, I'm shaking you. Sorry. I can see you there, but I can't see if you're making any comment. I'll have to look afterwards. I'm not going to do this again, but I thought you needed to see these up, you know, with a little bit more because I'm not going to put all these on my blog. So this is from Jill, Magnolia Lane. In fact, I think that's with Magnolia Blooms, which I really like, the new little one. Oh, more elephants again. So cute. And this one is from... I just love that they have so many cards that I can then... This is from Monica Davis. Hey! Isn't that cute? Look with the little elephants. I think that's lovely. Oh, suddenly I've got comments coming through. <laughs> Do 
just finished work six weeks off says Alison woohoo oh that's really good oh thanks Alina that's nice morning Lisa so yes this is from Laurie Helling isn't that cute it's like a little camera with the little camera guy on the front that's so sweet so that's a nice card and then yes it's good inspiration isn't it that's why i thought i'd share because i put it on my boards but then only the people who come to my classes see that whereas if i show you on here then everybody gets to see it so these are the birds from mosaics i did the same thing she's she's cut more who is this i don't know who this is but she's cut more than i did so i only cut um 26 of these birds by hand she's had to cut twice as many 52 so these are the new lovely lace um cards okay so this is from Anne brown so these are the lovely lace fronted um cards that you get cards and envelopes in a set and then she's popped on forever starts today put some little lace on it and then just cut out these two birds which i think is lovely really nice sort of wedding card for two people who like birds we like that well done Anne. pop that in there try not to get it Ooh rushed up there we go okay what else we got more daisies look cute little daisies just a little note to say hello and that's from lynn lynn field camp isn't that lovely <laughs> uh, allison says the camera one's brilliant yes i know it's cool isn't it i've had a couple of camera things that you might want to have a look at but yeah that's great and look at this the little walrus it's your birthday and this is from lisa miltakis again of minnesota i got quite a lot of things from minnesota girls that's nice so there we go that's lovely oh it's so cute with a little anchor and then some birds now we haven't actually had quite a lot of birds but here we go a beautiful bird card and i have a feeling that this is a this is from karen uh Ming, mengahini i don't know i can't pronounce that um, but I have a feeling this might be another one of these poppy pop-up card things. Yes, look at that. It's an easel card. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. She made 26 of them. Bless her. All that cutting and, and colouring. Lovely. Really like that. That's very nice. So I'll go back in there. There we go right what else have we got here we've got this one which has got um actually, i actually don't know what this is and card aisle and card aisle abstract impressions yes and card deal abstract impressions this Isn't that nice beautiful colors rococo rose and the new seaside spray we like that and then this one's been embossed look at that and then she's colored the embossing with her blends this is diane carr so you emboss it in white and then you actually go over and you just paint each of these bits with a stamping blend it's a fantastic uh, technique we'll be doing some of this soon and then this one is from the lovely amanda fowler um in the, from the uk the only one i got from the uk which is a shame but nice look it's a little it's a pop-up um sort of diamond fold graduation card so you deserve a whole sheet of gold stars see look at that so it stands up as a graduation hat what are these called waterboards there we go yay well you know birds are, are lovely aren't they they're one of my favorite sets too so that's really cute so we like that and then and then so that was my official swap so all of those were my official swap cards and i think i'm a very very lucky girl to get all of those um i think it's one of the great things about going on the incentive trip you get to swap you get to make cards together you just get to have a good time really and it's a great time for talking with each other and you know working out how people do things in their card making business and you know some of the things that might work well in your business so I like that side of it too and everyone's really happy to share stuff which is nice speaking of sharing i then went onto my table um 
uh, went and met up with one of the, the two master stampers so Anne who runs master stampers Anne Clemmer and also Linda who's come onto the design team so if you don't know I do a subscription service with Anne and Linda with um, private exclusive videos and tutorials you can join for a price per month um, join for as long as you want or as little as you want but there are over 250 back history blogs um, and video tutorials and um, PDFs that you can actually download so you can watch the tutorial download the PDF you can use them uh, so yeah it's a great thing and so Anne stamperdog.com is Anne but you need to come on through my link in my blog page to get to master stamper and it's really worth it it's like fifteen dollars a month less than fifteen dollars a month um which to us is less than that and um yeah you get you get all of the exclusive stuff that you don't see behind the scenes and this was one of her cards that she made she was on the um what do they call it advisory board there used to be like an advisory board in stamping up in the us where demonstrators would come and um advise stamping up on what to do uh and so Anne was a member of the advisory board for a couple of years and she still keeps in touch with all of the other demos that are obviously part of were part of the board with her and they did a special swap on the ship so this was an extra one from the advisory board swap which i'm very honored to receive uh, and then this one was a swap that julie davison from the us and um, gave to me when she realized it was my birthday and she said i'm sorry it's not a birthday card but and she said i'm really sorry it uses purple posy and i'm like no it's fine because you know we know we can't get this ink anymore but it's nice to see it and you can see that it's still it isn't quite the same color which is why they're not releasing it so anyway she gave me that and she gave me some dimensionals so she's my favorite <laughs> so um yeah so then what else happened so then i had some prezzies come along from certain people so look at this is that not just the cutest little book you've ever seen this is from the lovely kim fee and she spotted it in greece when she was out and about i can't even remember where she was mykonos or catacolon or one no in fact it must have been santorini or something anyway she spotted it this and she gave this to me as a present and it's just so lovely look queen of the house greece she went uh, i mean it could be for no one else could it really could and it's a lovely little notebook i can jot some ideas down in and it's got a little pen that goes with it too it's just so cute so thanks kim for that uh and then the gorgeous robin stamps or robin carden which is her uh, real name she gave me this bag isn't it fab she makes these this is a sideline of hers she's stitching pink <laughs> and uh, it's got a little pocket inside just a little pocket for a card uh, like a business card or something and then all your needles i guess because this is like a stitching thing but it's beautiful beautiful fabric colors inside gorgeous fabric colors outside and look skulls and crossbones which are kind of cute but also these beautiful um, flowers and whatever but it's cork at the bottom so it just feels lovely isn't that nice bless her i got she gave me a wash bag last year which i've been using which is lovely but i think this is cute too so this will be my secondary pop in my handbag bag and then my lovely up up line so my two up up lines not my actual up line but her up line natalie she got for us one of these oh, isn't that stunning isn't it great it's a gold and black pop-up bin now these have only been available in australia so i don't know how she managed to get us well i think i do know how she managed to get us one of these oh, i think she had a quick word with kylie um but she got one for all of her team that were on the ship and she got me a big candle as well but i've got that somewhere else so um yeah a lovely candle with sea foam it had like sea salt uh, it's got sea salt and something else so it remind us lemon i think lemon and sea salt so it reminds us of the of the um time in greece but yeah this is um this is kind of cute it's going on my desk that's going to be my bin so um so yeah so there we go so that's all the stuff that i got on the trip and all my birthday cards apart from angela's which i'm really peeved about because i had it and it was up and it was out oh maybe i've put it away already up in 
like my memories and stuff but anyway it was up and it was out on the ship um so i enjoyed it while i was there so thank you very much for that uh and then when we came back we came back and we did some crafting and they took us i thought i was just going out for barry's birthday but apparently no it was mine barry's and sue's birthday bash uh, and they'd put on this amazing thing. So they all, you know, all Sarah and Sue and Hillary and Lola and Barry and Jane and me. Um, it was just, and obviously Jay, not just Barry, Barry and Jay. It was just a fabulous um, afternoon out. The weather was nice. We mooched around the silent pool. We went and had a look at the gin tasting. They converted me to dams and gin. Yeah, there's a bottle of it in my friend, in my house now um but anyway so then jane and sarah had decided to that nothing would be complete if we didn't have to do some stamping so we actually made this at the dabbling duck in sheer while we after we'd had our cream teas amazing afternoon teas we did a bit of stamping so we did this one so alison here's another one with the camera look at that capture the good times the focus is all on you and then i should have stamped it on the inside i think but i didn't but never mind um and then on top of that, um, Jane came along and said, oh, yes, you can do all of these cards. Look at this. All the Now, obviously, she'd coloured all of hers, but we didn't have time to colour it. But she did bring us googly eyes, which are just so cute. I love the owl with googly eyes. So we're going to be doing a bit of colouring of those. OK, so we're going to do a bit of colouring of those, but I thought I would just show you. Oh, Sheila's on. Hooray. Yes, I'm back again. I know it does feel like a month. And now this morning after you jumped ship, you didn't come back until now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It does feel a long time. But I am back now, Sheila. So that's good. But before we do some colouring, I thought, you know, you've been very good waiting patiently. You might want to have a little bit of a sneak peek at some stuff. So talking of gifts, this was the final night gift we received from Stampin' Up! as a pillow gift this gorgeous bracelet and it says stamping up on one side and then on the other it has the greek isles like this image here and then it has three beautiful little droplets and they say create insp inspire create share which obviously is what we do so that's a really lovely gift so i like that very much it's our greek isles gift from them uh, we've got a lot of bags an awful 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 lot of bags this year so this is a massive bag look at that i don't know if you can see all of that it's huge but again stamping up 2019 so it's the kind of you know this is what we did this is where we went now i'm not going to show you everything because i if i show you everything i'll be here for hours um and none of you can get any of this stuff yet anyway okay even if you're a demonstrator watching you can't get it until next week so I'm just saying I'm just going to do you a couple of things things that you might want to think about and tell me whether you like or not and to whether we're going to do classes on them or not okay so uh, I'm going to show you a suite now I was really really lucky and I won the stamp set and I got the matching papers and we got oh where is it oh didn't do that very well and i got the punches so we have pretty much the whole suite here i haven't got all of that um because there's other there's ribbons and all that kind of stuff but these are really beautiful stamps with the the three baubles and i love this piece of holly and they go beautifully with it's a double punch set so this matches these two and this one matches this one so this you can buy this as a bundle okay and then it comes with this gorgeous paper i am gonna i am gonna uh, i'm gonna show you the paper because i think this is just lovely and i know we've had baubles before you're gonna go baubles really pick we've had baubles i know I know we've had baubles before, but we haven't had baubles that go with such gorgeous um, copper. That's a bit stripy. I'll do that one the other way around. Here we go. 
So this I'm showing, trying to show you the papers that come with it. So we we've got some nice tonal papers that are not necessarily. It's not necessarily Christmas. This really reminds me a little bit of the Eastern Medallion papers we had uh, a few years back. But they're beautiful um, Christmas papers as well. Very subtle, I think, for Christmas papers, actually. But apart from this one's got holly on it. See, it's got bits of holly on it and sprigs and stuff. This one, obviously, has got the baubles. So obviously that's Christmas. And then the other side of that is just plain with stars. Okay. And yeah, it looks like it's actually got it's actually got a really slight impression of some baubles on it as well, but I think that's coming through from the other side. And then we've got this holly um holly sprigs, mistletoe sprigs, and then more stars on this side. So, I mean, that's a fabulous set of papers, don't you think? With all that gorgeous copper foiling on it. Really lovely. So I think that would look very, very nice for Christmas stuff. Without being too Christmassy, you could do birthday cards with that or anything, really. Um, so that's the papers that matches the stamps and the punches. Okay, so that's a suite that I'm going to show you. And then I'm just going to show you one more because you're going to, otherwise you're going to think, uh, which one I'm going to show you, yes. Um, I'm going to show you this one, because this one doesn't look much in the catalogue, and it doesn't really look much when you, when you get it as a stamp set. But actually, when you open it up, these are huge stamps, okay? They're really big, and they are three, three stamps, in a row all relating to different things so you've got uh, this one which relates to Halloween which I don't do really much Halloween but I know a lot of people do it's all about the candy happy boo from me to you and sending a Halloween hello then this one's all about Valentine's be mine be my Valentine and then um, two you are exo Lent with an X and an O and then this one says, I love you more. And then these three middle ones are Bring on the Merry, Express Your Elf, which has got to be my favourite stamp ever, and Season's Greetings. And Express Your Elf has got, hopefully you can see that, has got um, little elf feet. It's just so cute. Maybe you see it better on the on the stamp set itself here, Express Your Elf. But, but this isn't true size. If you look at the size difference between those, see how big they are? Um, and Stampin' Up! has not lost a trick. They have created a die set that goes with this that cuts all three out at the same time. So you, you stamp one, two, three, and then you cut one, two, three. So that's really good. Um, no punch for the holly, says Sheila. No, no punch for the holly, but we have had a holly punch in the past. But no, we don't have one this year. Uh, I like the paper, love the papers, very real, regal, elegant Christmas. Yes, exactly, very regal. Uh, so I like tags, tags, tags. That's that's a cute set. Um, what else? There's also, I'm just going to say, there's also a massive box of loveliness. I'm not going to show you what's inside uh, except the stamp set. Um, it's just pretty. The, in here it's a medley okay so I'm not going to show you any more than that but it's massive it's a medley you get um, stamps dies ribbon paper foiled embellishments um, it's just uh, just beautiful so that is a really nice um, all-inclusive a bit like everything's rosy but nice because it's here for the whole season uh, and cheaper than everything's rosy and it's just a beautiful stamp set with some trees that you can decorate with um, candy canes and these are uh, presents that you can decorate with ribbons so the ribbons slot inside those um, and in fact it's just all stamped on one stamp so again clever stamping we like clever stamping all all the um, parcels are together 
all the bows are together so you stamp once stamp again and again there's a die that cuts those out but you get individual presents when it cuts it out so that's really nice okay that's enough of sneak peeks of what we're going to get this is another thing that i got which is lovely perennial essence makeup case isn't that cool and it fits three punches nicely in here as well because i might be using this as a craft case or somebody might be using this as a craft case i don't know who yet might not be me could be you you know but you could put your you could put your pens in here or you could put your blends in here they'd fit nicely in there wouldn't they blends and stuff right markers and whatever so this could be another little um case on the go crafting case on the go that's what i call it other people might think it's a makeup bag but i think it's a crafting case on the go cute <laughs> right so there we go that's my sneak peek for that so now we're going to get back and do some coloring it's only going to be a little bit of coloring we're not going to i'm not going to keep you here masses and masses and masses i'm trying desperately to find a clean bit of paper no it's going to have to be this one that's all i can find okay so i just wanted to show you that even those these are on note cards so yes they will come through but i still think it's worth coloring them in and this week we're talking all about animals so i have a little bear on the rocking horse and we have a little owl on the hoot hoot hooray and this stamp set is actually called hoot hoot hooray and it's from the um ex not express creativity it's from experience creativity the new little catalogue for crafters who are just kind of getting started in crafting might not have been crafting as long as some of us um and is having you know just wants something easy and quick to get going but there's no reason why the people can't purchase from this set and you know i think it's a lovely little set lovely little cute little bear and a cute owl and cute look at these and the little epoxy hearts fit on here just so cute now i'm gonna do a, a spot of coloring i think i'm gonna make the bear which i might want to make the bear like pink or something let's make the bear pink shall we <laughs> crafting with crafting wins over makeup or any day heather says yes i totally agree now these are two colors you wouldn't normally think of putting together lovely lipstick light and light rococo rose but i think look at that i think they're going to go nice let's give it a go so um this is live coloring so let's make this dark frizz ears give him a dark nose bit of dark under here on his paws of course it could be a her i'm saying him if it's pink it's probably a girl although that's very you know stereotypical you don't like doing that do we there we go so i'll put the, the dark in there and then we'll just go over with the rococo oh yeah these are going to go nice together i like that sometimes you just pick things out of your box and see how it goes oh look that's cute love a bit of blending okay so i'm just going to go over all of it because it doesn't have to be lifelike you don't have to make it into a masterpiece it's just a note card okay there we go there we go dark him up around his chin her chin whatever chin now let's do some let's do some what's this that's is that ivory that's ivory this is crumb cake light crumb cake let's do some let's start off with some light crumb cake for the horse the rocking horse but we probably won't stay with light crumb cake and then we'll have to choose whether we go pink reins or maybe we go a different color you can help me choose that what color do you think we should do the reins of the horse because it can't be pink because then that'll be the same and the base bit we need we need colours for the reins and the base bit. Uh, Alison, I would just line them once coloured with the folding insert so it doesn't show through. Yes, you could do that. You can do that for sure. Just put a little insert in. But you know what? I don't think it matters. Okay. Do his tummy. 
and you'll notice I'm taking no care whatsoever about where I go with this because it blends and it just blends beautifully and even though I haven't got my dark crumb cake doesn't mean to say I can't do dark things you just go over it a bit more with your light one and it darkens it right up there we go over the end of there I'm starting to sing let's stop that okay do we have any color combinations peacock blue I haven't got the peacock blue one Sheila <laughs> oh Alison's got a dash off okay dokie see you later Alison yes I haven't got peacock blue sorry you're gonna have to pick again pick again but maybe a blue I've got seaside spray maybe that one no I haven't got the peacock blue yet which is a bit of a shame then we're going to do dark for the tail and you could become impressionistic if you want to but this is really quite a solid line image it's not a watercolour so it's best I think to do solid colours and not try and make it wishy-washy there we go right then come on guys I need colours I've had no colours apart from Sheila who picked one I don't have <laughs> Can you see that well enough? Do I need to zoom in or can you see that? I think you can see that okay. So I think, well we, we said blue didn't we? So maybe we go blue for the reins. So this is the dark, this is the light night of navy. Lipstick red. No because I've used lipstick, lovely lipstick in the, in the bear. I'm going to go with your first choice Sheila of blue. It's not peacock but it's navy. Okay. so I'm just and if you can't get into something because it's small I just do little dabs just little dabs and then when it's big we can use the the brush see I wasn't very good job that didn't go over eh? although I have got my colour lifter there we go. that looks quite funky and then we'll just do a little yellow, just do a little yellow bit here because it needs a bit of gold on its bridle. There we go. Welcome little one. That's all right. And it has literally just an, an outline. So you could just literally put a little insert in there and nobody would know. So that's that one. And then for the owl, I'm going to use the colours that Jane used, which was... Funnily enough, pool party. Now, I would not have thought pool party for an owl. I'd have gone browns, but I loved her pool party owl. So cute. So cute. And she just darkened at the edges of his wings. And around the edge here. I think I'm going to use the other end, actually. So just darkened around the edge of the body like this to give him some outline there we go and then she had got a yellow beak so we'll put that in just to make sure that we don't forget that and then the rest of it was pool party light pool party and it just lifts him take that harsh line out Careful, I'm not getting his googly eye. <laughs> I'm getting his googly eye. Be careful about that. But she didn't go all the way with him. She left him with some white bits, which I liked as well. We love a bit of colouring in the Royal Stampers. And you know, there's a great offer at the moment on joining too. You could come and have fun with us and our team. We do loads of stuff. And you can get an extra £25 this month and more next month. Well, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to, did she leave those like that maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to brush over his tummy just gently like that. There we go. It starts to fade it in. Isn't he cute? so cute and very quick compared to that one because i didn't have to follow hey wendy thank you 
Jan says she needs to buy some more blends. You have to buy all the blends. I am in the process of collecting all of them. I still have a few of the new ones to get. And to, I'm ashamed to say I still need to get Mossy Meadow, which has been out for a while now. But they are just beautiful. And I love them. And they're so easy to use. And I have a blends club, which you can join every month if you want. It's just £20. And you get four blends and a video and a tutorial private video and tutorial plus the materials to make two cards so if you're in the uk or austria france germany and the netherlands you can join my blends club too i must i haven't got a link for a blends club i must start a link for a blends club but anyway yes just tell me that you want to be in it and then we can go from there so there you go that's my little coloring and you could just you know you can carry on and color all of the rest of these which i will do but aren't they just the greatest set you've seen? I just think they're so cute. And these are just stamped straight onto note cards. You could, you know, jazzy them up, put them with um, cutouts, you know, rectangle or square stitch shapes onto other coloured cardstock or papers. Look at that for you. I mean, it's so simple and sweet. And I love the happy birthday. These are great for kids' cards, teachers' cards even, you know, who who array for somebody who's done well at... Um, school that would be a great one for a graduation or <laughs> you know or something to say look celebrate the fact i've uh, graduated or gone to college or done whatever for you could cover everything quite frankly birthdays sorted and then if somebody's feeling a little bit under the weather you could put this card and cheer them up with some nice hearts and some you could sparkle up the clouds with your wink of stella you could really go to town so so yeah there we go. So these are my two animal ones. Obviously, I'll do the others later, but this week we're talking animals. So this will be up on my blog tomorrow, all my ramblings with all my swaps, shares, birthday cards, incentive trip goodies, etc, etc. So you can pop on and have a look up there tomorrow if you've missed it today. And then I've got more that I'm sharing this week. I've got a lovely video for you on Wednesday uh, and another card on Thursday. So yeah thanks ever so much for watching it's good to be back i'm glad i'm back with my um moody monday pick me up video i hope i've picked up your monday and that you're not too moody and that you have a great week and i will see you again next week all righty thanks alina oh thank you oh no alina says she's not been Oh, good. I'm so... You need to get back in your craft room, Alina. Yes, you do. You can't leave your craft room for a month. <gasps> I was away for a week and I had withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> so, yes, I have a... I hope... I'm glad that this has inspired you and I hope it's inspired lots of other people to get out there and do a bit of crafting. Alrighty. Take care for now. See you again soon. Bye-bye.